Sierra Nevada, Ochevez, Gosar style ale with lime and agave. Okay, ABV on this beer is 4.9%. Bearing hops, I use Magnum. Finishing hops, Magnum. They use two row pale and wheat, and obviously lime and agave to add for flavor. Says here on the website, if you're looking for an Ochevez website, we combine the classic flavors of lime, blue agave, nectar, and a tart Gosa style beer for the ultimate answer to the heavy heat of the day. The bright lime flavor helps wake up the palate, while the mild sweetness of the agave rounds out the tangy zip of the citrus fruit. Light and refreshing, this is all new Ochevez, and we'll have you calling for another round. Let's crack it open. Such as it, it's got that chill hose from the wheat malt. It's a light, uh, light uh, straw appearance with a chill hose to it. One finger of um, tight white small bubbles, and uh, looks looks pretty good. Okay, the smell. Yeah, definitely good in that lime. The lime stands out, and there's another. It smells a bit like a shandy, lemonade shandy. And something else, which would probably be a garlo. So, well, it smells pretty good. Let's get into it. Cheers. Lime flavour, obviously. Uh, a bit of light sweetness. Well, obviously, the other flavour I'm picking up is agave. To me, it has somewhat of a, uh, a ginger ale flavour there. Uh, to the beer, let's go again. Lime and the sweetness. The agave is so hard to describe, but the sweetness is it's definitely there. And it kind of just lingers, lingers for a bit on the tongue. Lime's still there, but it's not prominent like a, uh, a summer lime beer or uh, the cold and dry lime beer or even something like the Bud Light Limes. I've never had it, but I can imagine. Um, it's got more of a natural flavour to it, more of a a citrusy uh, zest flavour to it. And it's got that tartness. It is a little bit of a, I suppose you can really describe it to it with a uh, citrus tartness to the beer, but a Gosa style, maybe a bit tart, but all in all, it's super refreshing after a day's work. Yeah, just got that tartness, the beer, bitterness, hardly anything, really, not really bitter at all. Um, but yeah, it's tart, it's got a light malt flavour, but it, it's the lime, the agave coming to the, uh, in the beer, that's what you're tasting. And then, a bit of ginger ale's kind of faded now for me, but uh, anyway, it's a very interesting beer. Um, it's uh, super, I could, set. oh yes, I could session this, I could have more than one. Um, very good on a hot day, uh, very refreshing. If you like a Rattler, I reckon you like this, pretty, uh, very decent. So, um, this Ultravez from Sierra Nevada, another product well made by Sierra Nevada, I give us a score of an A minus. Yes, we'll give it an A minus because I don't have a real lot of them. But hey, it's pretty enjoyable and it's drinkable. Certainly very drinkable. Yes. Enough. But like I said, purchase the damn Murphy's, that's where you get it from. But uh, yeah, I would, I would buy it again. I would, Got enough of a refreshing play of a good summertime beer that's a little bit interesting. Right, till next time, catch you later. Bye.